Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time to our channel then welcome. Today I'm going to be taking you through a day in the life of our one year old Mr. Max and sharing with you what he eats in a day as a vegan breastfed baby. Yes, I am still breastfeeding. I just finished up first thing in the morning. That's what I like to do. And then I go right into making our lean green protein smoothie. We share this as a family. It serves two, but we do make sure to set aside just a little bit for max. I don't include protein powder like I used to. Instead, I just make myself a separate pre or post workout morning shake so that max can share this protein powder free green smoothie with us. It is full of so much goodness, vegetables, fruits, healthy fats. And then along with that, I am making him an amaranth porridge. So I absolutely love using amaranth flour that I've found on Amazon because it's extremely high in iron as well as protein, but especially iron is super important for your little kiddos and babies to be getting into their diet because it can be extremely difficult. So I just absolutely love this porridge. It tastes great. Dusty and I eat it sometimes as well but it's just a great calorie dense cereal or breakfast for Mr. Max. I added in some almond butter. I usually like to add in either almond or peanut butter as well as a mashed banana just to make it extra calorie dense and sweet. Along with a side of mixed berries, which are his favorite, my favorite. But one thing I always try to do before feeding him any type of solid food is I always offer the breast. It helps to keep my milk supply up. It keeps him fueled with nature's multivitamin. And then I plop him into his high chair and let him go to town. So a rule of thumb that I try to go by is I always give him something that he can self feed something that is in the form of a smoothie and something that I can spoon feed. That's kind of what I've been doing for breakfast at least, not for every meal, but that way he can always practice feeding himself and keep himself entertained while I'm kind of cleaning up, tidying up, and getting Dusty and I fed as well. So today I'm actually at home the entire day, which isn't always the case. A lot of times I am out the door at my office doing lab work, but today I have a full day at home, so it's the perfect opportunity to make some baked goods. So if you guys have been following for a while, then you know I absolutely love baking. There are actual scientific studies that show that culinary therapy can do wonders for stress and anxiety, and I can vouch for that, especially when whatever it is that you're making and baking is extra healthy. So not only are these pumpkin banana muffins gluten-free, they're also fantastic for lactation because they contain fresh ground oat flour as well as dates as well as chia and flax, they can also be beneficial. So that being said, Max loves to help me out and sometimes he doesn't wanna be set down, which I'm fine with because I love baby wearing. I love to talk him through and walk him through everything that I'm doing. <laughs> it makes it a little bit more enjoyable for the both of us. While those muffins are in the oven, I took Max downstairs because he just reached 13 months and I'm still taking the month by month pictures because they're so fun to look back on. Every month I've been taking a picture of him next to a pineapple for reference <laughs> and it's just been so cute and adorable and very fitting for our brand. <laughs> so the muffins are done and it's time for a snack. I also poured some fresh oat milk. So plant-based milk should never be used as an alternative to breast milk or formula, but it does help Max to drink his water. If I put a little bit of oat milk and dilute it with some water, it helps him to just get a little bit of extra hydration and calories. So we enjoyed our muffins along with Bo and then went down in the basement to play with our brand new Love Every set, which I am a huge fan of this company. So they've been sending us these play kits and every kit is creatively curated to help your little one reach their developmental milestones with Montessori and Waldorf based toys. It's been so much fun to actually get to play with Max and enjoy it because these toys are so interactive and it just makes playtime productive and more enjoyable for mama and baby. Usually Max takes his first nap of the day right around noon or one. I will usually breastfeed and then pump for 15 minutes and then get some 
work done and a lunch made for myself as well as prepping some food for him for when he wakes up. So today I did a cooked up quinoa and amaranth blend again for those complete proteins and lots of iron. I put in some frozen mixed veggies and also did a side of some fresh mandarin for vitamin C that helps to aid in the absorption of that iron and a little avocado toast because who doesn't love it? So we use Ezekiel bread. It does contain gluten, but we haven't found it to be a problem for us. So we enjoy it from time to time and Max loves it. It makes for a great baby led weaning food, easy to self feed. I also mashed some avocado into the quinoa. It helps it to stick together a little bit more, making it easy for him to grab by the handful and feed himself. While we primarily use the baby led weaning approach, I also do like to spoon feed just to help Max to focus and to get adequate calories. So while he's eating in his high chair, it usually gives me a chance to chop a salad. So I'm doing that as a pre-dinner meal and usually Max will breastfeed again between lunch and dinner. Then Papa Bear comes home and usually helps out with a pre-dinner snack for Max. Right here he's having leftover green smoothie and leftover amaranth porridge from breakfast. And then again before dinner I will offer the breast. Usually Max will breastfeed for a brief period of time. And then for dinner tonight it was our family favorite. Dusty made our Indian sweet potato lentil and chickpea stew. And we also added in some coconut cream for those healthy fats. I chopped some kiwi for that vitamin C. This dinner is so rich in nutrients, proteins, healthy fats, lots and lots of iron. I also tore up a little bit of tortilla for him. He loved it. We all loved it. I hope you guys loved this video. Amen. Let's eat. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Join the Eat Move Rest fam. Hit that bell to turn on your notifications. Leave me some love in the comments below. And please share this with anybody who might find it helpful or inspiring. Hope you guys loved it. You know the drill. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.